like that. So. So this is a invention that you came up with, the worm tap. What is it and what does it do? The worm tap produces six gallons of compost tea every single day. You can see it right there. Oops. Anybody who's made compost tea knows that it's, it's a process. It's a 24 hour process. Um, and so I saw that as a problem like as a barrier to me doing what my garden really needs, that, that amount of work. And I was thinking there needs to, this needs to be done seamlessly. Like we need to be composting and producing compost tea in one process and not having to do all the extra labor to convert it. So the worm tap is a vertical vermiculture system where you just open any of these bins can see is just pumping with worms in there. There's quite a few design improvements on current practices of vermiculture. Um, one is all bins are accessible. You know, they're not stacking. You don't have to rotate them. You can grab any bin, throw your kitchen scraps in there. Um, if one gets full, you just go to the next one. The other thing that's great about this is we have yet to ever have to empty them out. I'm not saying you will never have to empty them out. We just, we've been running these for 14 months and each system is getting about a half gallon of kitchen scraps every single day. And we've not had to empty it out. And the reason why is because the way the system works is twice a day, it takes the, the solution at the bottom pumps it to the top and it runs through each bin and it dissolves all the soluble nutrients and it suspends all the insoluble nutrients, brings them down to the reservoir here where it's aerated. Um, and so every single day, all the decomposed organic matter is being, um, is being absorbed into the nutrient solution and then that's going to the garden. As you saw, when you look inside it, it's just such a healthy environment for worms because it's getting the, the worms are getting a bath every single day. It's removing ammonia, which is toxic to them. So it's, it's keeping it moist. It's adding aeration to it. Do you have to take the tea out? Um, no, you don't. It will um, indefinitely continue to cycle it. Okay, so there'll be evaporation, but the system refills itself. Every day it's going to bring that solution to the top that's well aerated. Um, so it has tons of beneficial microbes and oxygen in it and, and runs through there. So if you were to leave this, if like say you go on a vacation for a month or something, you're gone for a month, it will just continue to operate and the solution will get just richer and richer and richer, essentially. I mean, it, it has capacity. There, you can only dissolve so much. Um, and then eventually it'll get to a state where the solution can't absorb any more nutrients. And it'll just be like any other vermiculture system where the worms are just sitting in their own stuff, you know? So it, it'll lose efficiency over time, like if you, if you just leave it, but it, it's not going to die. What's coming out of there? It's the leachate um, that's been aerated, nitrified, and mineralized. Leachate, you know, is generally anaerobic and um, generally not really filled with beneficial microbes because it's anaerobic, um, but still has all the nutrients in it. So with leachate, you have to take it through a couple of processes to make it immediately beneficial. Um, whereas this, as I said, it's been oxidized and nitrified. So if I'm a user having this at, in my house, yeah. I have all these drawers available at any given time. I can just feed any of them at any time. I look yeah. for an open space, put it in there. Yeah. And then, as you said, you're never emptying it out. Yeah. And the worms are digesting it. Some of it's leaving through the tap. Yeah. Some of the solids yeah. are, are coming out. And then the system just recycles itself. And when I'm ready for the tea, I turn it on yeah. and I'm good to go. Yep.
You know, the thing, the thing I love about this, looking at this, and the last time I saw it is, I think it makes vermicomposting really easy because like you said, I'm not unstacking things yeah. like you see on worm towers. You have layers, you gotta stack them. I don't have to do this because the stacking is in the structure, it's drawers. Yeah. It also never has to be emptied. And I think emptying it is just another thing to do. It's kind of a pain. And you get tea automatically made by the system. You're not having to take the castings and go another step, which I think makes things super simple. And it looks nice, it looks cool. Yeah. And it makes things really easy. So I'm excited to actually take one of these home and try it and then keep people updated on how it works and what I think about it. So here's the reservoir at the base of the worm tap. What are people seeing? An eight gallon stainless steel bed tube coming out of a um, uh, water pump. And then you see two tubes that are attached to an air pump. So it's being aerated. It's uh, being pumped up and flushing through the system. Um, you also see a float valve in there, which um, regulates the level, so it automatically fills itself. You don't have to worry about, you know, is it overflowing or is it not full enough? After you empty it out, it will refill itself automatically. Stainless steel wool in here. And this is great stuff. Again, we're putting it in biological surface area. Um, to, for, you can see it's kind of slimy. There's lots of stuff growing on here. So this is just a great way to create a home for microbes to live in and populate, um, populate the solution. So the tank is where all the solution ends up and where it's aerated before it gets recycled back through the system. Yeah, or before it's used. It comes as a default of cycling at noon and midnight. It's gone through 24 hours of, of aeration, mineralization, and nitrification um, before we use it. So how it gets refilled is you have an inline with three quarter inch garden hose thread. And in this case, I have it set into my irrigation, but you can hook it straight into um, any sort of, you know, hose fixture outside. Um, here's the power cord, and this is an outline. So if you are operating hydroponic systems like we are, you can have it a direct line feed into your hydroponic system so that you're not having to, um, you know, add the nutrients yourself. It, it, it can feed a hydroponic system on its own. Your irrigation system turns on, it fills the reservoir, the float valve stops it when it's full. And then at 12, it pumps it up to the top and moves it through and then brings it back in. And then at midnight or 11.50, it'll do the same thing. How do you start the system out? So if you're transitioning from, you already have a worm bin, you're tired, you know, a stacking worm bin, you're tired of that system, you wanna upgrade, um, then I would just take those, all those bins, dump them equally in each one, plug it in and start rolling. If you're starting fresh, like you've never done vermicomposting before, get some compost, buy 2000 worms, and then you know, plug it in and start rolling. If you want to go next level, like you want to go all the way and make sure you have the absolute best microbiology in there. And particularly if you are doing hydroponic growing systems like we're doing, um, what I did was I inoculated it with local microbiology, but particularly local aquatic microbiology because this is a semi-aquatic system. Um, so I went to the nearest stream to here, um, just a few miles away, and in a part of the stream where there's you know some river muck and some plants growing in it, I just pulled that plant up with the roots intact because the microbiology that's converting the decaying matter to the roots is all living in there, and then I just put it in here. And so what's that? What that's doing? is you are inoculating your system with your local microbiology and nothing anybody sells you can be better than that. Because you know, if you're getting 
Microbiology, that's from a lab, that's in a certain type of environment. Yes, it may persist in here, but you don't know if it'll persist in your environment. You do know that microbiology that's coming from your environment will persist in this system. For people that want to learn more about the worm tap, where can they go? To learn more, go to darknectar.org. Like that. So.